mermaid that had her tail replaced with real legs. Okay. Not 207? You'll think of something. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. I hope so too. I think I have a date. I'm not exactly sure a date for what. We'll find out when we get inside. That's a good stuff to look at here. Yeah, this shit will kill ya. So what do we have over here? A phone? I should probably repair that. Yeah, that phone is out of order. If the rooms are anything like the lobby, they should cut their rates. Yeah, it's looking a little uh, run down. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Oh, uh, you. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you, you knew. You should tell you him. You should really tell Beast. He's worried about you. I will. I will. I just need to in my own time. By the way, thanks for covering for me. So, what are you doing here? I got a oh, key. You have a key? Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The, the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but... She came off a tad intimidating. Hmm. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't snow and went about my business. No, it definitely wasn't snow. I talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him or his brother? I took out a loan for back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money, plus interest. Why take out a loan from those two? It was from the crooked man. Beauty. You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. Look, if this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, alright? I tried. 
Uh oh. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Okay. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. <laughs> nice. So she works at the CD Hotel. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's, it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just... You're asking me to lie. Not lie, just not include my name. Just say you talk to the clerk or something. You'll do what you have to. I just want you to know that that would help me. Well, here we are. I don't know. Which one was it? 207, wasn't it? Let's go all the way to the end of the hallway here. seems to be in. Let's open it up. You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. I could just break in the door if you prefer. No, don't. I'll help you. Just don't break anything. Well, you want me to lie for you, but then you won't open the door I want? Like, Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? <laughs> no, Sweetie, no! Wait a minute! How could you do this? We've been together through everything! I took care of you! I love- It's not what you think! Please! You're cheating on me! With him?! No! No, Beast! I promise I'm not! I'm helping him, that's all! I'll bet! I'm sure you help each other just great! I know what this place is! I know what goes on no, here! That's not what I meant! Stop lying to me! What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me! There's nothing going on! I'm not- uh, Hey! Bastard! I guess I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Stop it! You told me you hadn't seen her, you fucking liar! You've been sleeping with her this whole time! I don't want to hurt you, so just calm down and- Beast! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Ow. What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me! <laughs> And you ask for it. My wife, Time to tear off your arm. Just stop. stop! And we're gonna go and do this again. Leave him be! This is my fault! Oh, this is his fault. Beast. Dude, you gotta let go. Hi. Oh, there goes your eyeballs. Jealous much? Bigby, no! Don't hurt him! No, I'm gonna do it again. Yeah, well, you know what? Too bad. Pretty sure he hit me first. You ruined everything! I didn't She's do anything. <sighs> there we open the door. That is a lot of blood. Shit, Bigby. What have you done? What? 
What is this? Bigby. Look what you did to the door! You can't just act like this whenever Stand you- Stand back! You- you don't want to see this! Yeah, this is pretty gruesome. Well, we got the door open. <gasps> oh my god! Don't touch anything. Is this- is this- Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then? Must have happened right here. Jesus. So last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But- Just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? The truth will set you free. I kind of blame Beauty here. She could have just been honest Baby, about it. What kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. All right. The case begins. I begin. can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Okay. Where'd you get that? Lily had it in her hand. In case there was any doubt over who died here. Yep, definitely we was Lily. We shouldn't even be in here. What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Mundy version of her story, anyway. Okay. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Hmm. What's it mean? Why mark the page where she's sleeping? I think he made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. Flowers, too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. You mean just before? In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. That's our Mr. Smith. This is creepy. The coffin and, and the weird fixation on snow. What the hell is wrong with this guy? <laughs> Good question. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. The crap brand? He brought wine. Classy. No, I don't know if that's really classy. God. For my arrival. This is a closet. That's her dress in there. Oh my goodness. It's Someone's torn. Rough with this dress. It's torn. Yep. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then and then he took it back off. No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. What? What are you thinking? rips in the dress make me think our Mr. Smith likes to play hard. He's a violent man. You need the dress to tell you that? He's got a thing about snow and he's got a thing about violence. I think that much was already clear. Oh my god, that poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but... Just how does a person... I don't know. I honestly don't know. I guess know. it doesn't matter now. I mean, I'm not exactly sure. She like... must have been so scared. Uh, yeah, I would have been scared. That's no doubt about that. Poison apple. Do you smell something? No. Just apple. Huh. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? Mm. 
It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. Oh no, do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. He's just acting out another part of the book. God, I'm just having trouble processing all of this. This guy has some kind of weird snow obsession, but then there's this other stuff, too. He's into sexual violence as well as regular violence, apparently. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. <laughs> Me neither. Oh, what do we have there? An envelope. Are those pictures of the dead girl? Mm -hmm. Not all of them. How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Bigby. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand in for snow is gone now, so. The next step closer. What is it? It's <gasps> Crane. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, it's Crane. You kooky bugger. He could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that dissel. Starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Hello, Big B. Take care of it, Big B, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, Big B. Is that you? <laughs> Alright folks, that is the end of episode number two. Let's look at our choices here. Uh, you, so about 60% of us sympathize with him. Uh, how did you treat the murder suspect? 60% of us pursued, persuaded him. Did you let Snow White come with you? Yeah, look at that, 92% of us did. Oh wow, so I was a minority of folks that actually hit Georgie. And I was a very slim minority that actually hit Beast when he was down. Oh come on, he started it. And that's going to be the end of that folks. So we are done with episode number two. We'll be back, The Wolf Among Us continues. We still have to go through episode number three episode number four and episode number five i'm your gibbs i'll let the credits roll thank all of these folks for putting together an awesome game and i'll see you next time